Yo, 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 welcome to another episode of Are You Serious Podcast, where we are a podcast that's a show. And a show that's a motherfucking podcast. I am your host for this evening, Mac, a.k.a. Fat Boy Swag, a.k.a. Karaoke Bully. And over here is my co-host. Yo, I'm on with the dumb shit, yo. I'm not the fucking co-host, yo. Anyway, it's Mitch. <laughs> Money making, Mitch. Sharpness is what I do. Your girlfriend's favorite barber. And El Plaga. And before we get started, I just want to thank y'all again for your views. We appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if y'all notice, we actually have a partnership now with Liquid Lounge Cocktails. We're doing it big. Just a little bit. <laughs> shout out to Liquid bit. Lounge Cocktails. Yeah, no doubt, no shout doubt. Out, shout out, shout I want to shout out to my man Reggie Thomas for this nice little fit you put together for me. I appreciate you, brother. So, um, yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I heard you had something you wanted to say. And I'm going to tell you now. <laughs> if there's any discrepancies with this bullshit, <laughs> I'm going straight to HR, and that's your motherfucking ass. Nah, man, ain't no discrepancies. Me, I will go to HR on your to, ass. Yo. We are going to tell the truth on this podcast. <laughs> and HR don't play. We're going don't to tell me. the truth on this so podcast. <laughs> HR don't play, man. I'll get you out of here. So last week, <laughs> last episode, you... Told the people why you named me Karaoke Bully. Yeah, no doubt. I so mean, you know, to know. some they people, some people has been asking me, "What is El Plaga? Who is El Plaga?" Yeah, you got niggas texting me, yeah. calling me that. <laughs> Can't even spell it right. So I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody why I call you El Plaga. Okay, so you know. Me and Mitch, you know, we've been thinking about this podcast for quite some time. So Mitch hit me up one day and was like, yo, I think we need to, you know, go over a few things before we present this uh, presentation to Pablo, you know, on how we're going to do this podcast. I said, okay, cool. So he said, yo, let's go out to eat and, you know, we have some drinks and we can talk about it. Sure. No problem. In my mind... I'm thinking he wants to go somewhere subtle, like Fridays or, you know, Olive Garden. Something subtle. You know? No, this dude picks a five-star restaurant. Okay, and how did I know? I'm not going to disclose the name of the restaurant, but how did I know it was a five-star restaurant? Because I Googled it. <laughs> I like to I like to look at the menu before I go to certain places to see what my budget is going to be like. Yeah, you know that from the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, I googles it and I'm like, oh, the ambiance is exquisite. So I said, okay, this dude is trying to do it up big. Okay, whatever, I roll with it. Okay, we go to dinner. Um, so I had on uh, a nice, you know, white button up, nice little necktie, you know, some slacks. Um, so he pulls up. First of all, he wasn't even driving. That's number one. He pulls up in the Uber Black. So for y'all who don't know what Uber Black is, Uber Black is the luxury line of Uber cars. So, it's like you can only drive a certain type of car to drive for Uber Black. So, he pulls up. Okay. Driver gets out, opens his door. And I'm like, what, what is going on here? When the door opens, all I seen was a lavender, now and gator, now and later gator on his feet. First thing in my mind... Was Ron Osley. That was the first thing that came to my mind was Ron Osley. Because once he got out, he had a cane with the eagle on the handle. And I was like, what? I'm like, yo, this dude is tripping. So 
mind you, it's the middle of May. It's like 85 degrees outside. Hey, yeah. <laughs> um, and he had on, um, I don't even know if it was a mink coat <laughs> or not. Great, you know? I don't know if it was a mink coat or it was made out of flamingo skin. I don't know. But it was very fuzzy, let me tell you that much. So I said, yo, Mitch, what are you doing? And he has the audacity. This is where I knew <laughs> something that was really wrong with Mitch that night. He had the audacity and called me by my government name. <laughs> and I'm not going to disclose that. I'm not going to disclose that. I'm not going to disclose that. He called me by my government name and gave me the two little smacks on the face. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I was I was instantly pissed, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna let it go. So we go into the we go into the restaurant. They see us. Waiter comes by. He gets he asks for our drink orders. So I'm like, okay, I don't want none of this shit on the menu. I'm gonna get to I'm gonna stick to what I know, which is a tequila sunrise. Hmm. It's with time his pinky up. Just know so, he drink it with his pinky up. So it's time for Mitch to order, and he orders a passion fruit mojito with a peach swirl. Never heard of it before, but if you Google it, I'm probably sure you can find it. So the way to li- first, okay, let me let me let me backtrack. The waiter's name is Steven. Just remember the name Steven. So he leaves, comes back with the drinks. I got my tequila sunrise. He gets a drink. He gets a drink. But it wasn't his passion fruit mojito peach swirl. Way to leaves. And Mitch calls the guy Garcon. <laughs> so he says, Garcon. <laughs> so he comes back and he says, sir, my name is Steven. That boot right over Mitch's head. He didn't care what his name was at that time. His name was Steven to, to Mitch. This is not what I order, is what Mitch said. So Mitch is like, I mean, uh, uh, Stephen says, well, what did you order? He looks Stephen dead in the face and says, what the fuck you mean what I just ordered? <laughs> so I say, okay, hold up, hold up. I tell Stephen what he ordered. He goes and go. comes back and brings it. Okay, night goes on. We get our food. You know, it's time, to, it's time for the check to come. Steven comes over, X, do we want to check? Mitch says yes. Okay. So when I was sitting there for about maybe 10 to 15 minutes, waiting for the check to come, Steven has walked past us about 10, 15 times. The bullshit. And Mitch stops him and says, yo, where's our check? So he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'll go get it. Okay. Check comes. Now, mind you, the drink that Mitch ordered the first time was on the check, along with the drink that Mitch did not order. We don't play like that. So, Stephen comes over, gives the check, so he walks off. Mitch, Garcon! <laughs> and I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, I don't know if this nigga think he's the godfather or what. But whatever. This is Mr. <laughs> so, right. Stephen comes back. And Mitch tries to explain to him the situation. So now the manager comes out. The manager says, you know, Mitch explains to him, you know, what's going on. The manager says, so you didn't order that drink. Mitch looks the manager dead in the eyes and said, what the fuck I just said? And I'm like, oh, my God, this is not going to go well. So long story short, the manager gave us the whole meal for free because I guess we was acting like niggas. We leaves out, and I'm like, Yo, Mitch, yo, what the fuck was all that in there about? He said, yo, I don't play, yo. Like, I left school because they had recess. And I'm like, what the fuck kind of shit is this? So I'm like, yo, you know exactly who you remind me of? He said, who? I said, you ever seen State Property 2? He said, yeah. I said, you remind me of El Plaga. And that's what I'm going to start calling you. And that's how he got the name, <laughs> a.k.a. El Plaga. I don't fuck around. <laughs> Guys, that we have a partnership, Liquid Lounge Cocktails. <laughs> Look who we got with us—the <laughs> CEO 
of Liquid Lounge Cocktail. Introduce yourself to the people. I am Nisha. I am the owner and operator of Liquid Lounge Cocktails. Um, what else you want to know? Tell us about your business. Tell us, oh. tell us what you guys do. Yeah. How did you get started? How did you get started? Um, well, I started bartending in 2013, but then I worked for like um, big hotels, high-end restaurants, um, events. And then I was like, I really don't want to be committed to a schedule anymore. Right. So I'm just going to start my own stuff. And I really did it just for myself. I didn't really do it to um, create a business or start a business. Right. But then I started getting clientele. And I was like, oh, I probably should take this more serious. Maybe I need to act like I'm a real company. Word. And I gotta, I, did. I gotta tell y'all how I met. Oh Nisha. my god. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell this story how I met me. So I had a kickball team. And a friend of Nisha's was on my kickball team. <laughs> He's actually my co-captain. And we were one woman short. I think our first, our first game, matter of fact, we were a woman short. And so my co-captain said, well, come on, you want to play? And she like being all shy like she is now. The funny part is that Nisha did not have no tennis shoes. Right. <laughs> I was about to say, let's Nisha go back. Nisha was out there some slip on Wizard of Oz joints that it could <laughs> I had on <laughs> Oxford. <laughs> Straight from work. She three times she was going back to <laughs> <laughs> she got out there and kicked the shit out. <laughs> She's kicking the shit out the ball. And then she just became a permanent member of the team because we was like, oh, she's nice, but you got to wear them shoes. <laughs> I still have them shoes and haven't worn them since, actually. So, so. so, like, as far as, like, this, like, I'm going to tell you all something. When we was on lockdown last mm. year, she was the real MVP. Yeah. Deliveries. You need a drink, you got it. Every Friday. <laughs> and Saturday. <laughs> right. And yep. Sunday. I had so many of them joints in the refrigerator. <laughs> but as far as like your your business, like let the people, I mean, I see us on the banner, but just let them know like what you do, how you do it, you know what sure. I'm saying? Like your staff, all that. So we um, do any event that you could think of. I've done divorce parties. I've oh, done wow. weddings. Nice. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> um, Time to celebrate hey. my divorce. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, anything really that you want to celebrate, you just want to have a Sunday fun day? Cool. That's actually the name of that cocktail that she's back there drinking. Um, and I created that on a Sunday. Oh, yeah, we got our cocktails. I mean, oh, him too. Mac yeah. has one too. It's not called. It's nothing because it got grapes on. No, listen. <laughs> As I passion had, fruit for, mojito so I, with a peach. Swirl. I was about to say. I heard, I heard the story about the passion fruit. Mitch does not have or like fruit. He likes grapes. That's it. That's all. So I had to figure <laughs> out something that would go with grapes. So he has hibiscus tequila. Oh, that's real fancy. Yeah. I got some organic shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hibiscus tequila with some red it. wine. It's oh, a whole shit. bunch of stuff in there. Damn. <laughs> so, you kind of got like a sangria mix. I got mix. some get fucked up juice. There you go. Name it whatever that's you want that. to. <laughs> This is get my tub cheeks. Like Mac God. has a Sunday fun day, so that has tequila in it as well. That suits him just for um, Sunday fun day. Yeah. <laughs> but we do everything. Um, cocktails to go. I, I still do that. I really thought that was just something to do in the pandemic. And once outside opened back up, people would be like, all right. We're not yeah, doing this no you more. Know what? But this just jumped off after the pandemic. I'm like, damn, I, I'm on IG every <laughs> week. You out here getting money. It really did. It took off. So I started pre pandemic. 2019, um, June of 2019, I officially launched as a business. Okay. Um, and I was busy. I was busy then, so I had to hire one person. And then everything shut down. So all the events I had planned at the beginning of 2020 were canceled, pushed back, um, rescheduled. 
And then when they opened up this year, we haven't stopped. I hired two more people. One of them is here today. Her name's Latoya. Latoya is also my um, personal assistant. I shouldn't call her personal assistant, but she keeps my life together. Because right now it's all over the place. Real fucking bougie. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the personal assistant. <laughs> Seriously, I can't keep up. I, I'm not complaining. I love it. I think it's super dope that um, it happened. I was definitely a behind the scenes person. I told Mitch that I did not want to do this podcast. <laughs> That's a your ass out here. Yes, definitely. I tried to. I tried to sign Latoya up to do it. She's really good at speaking. Um, but yeah, so this weekend we have. So you want us to meet Latoya to Hey, Toya. You're not gonna come. That's that bullshit. All right. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's all right. Mm-hmm. So. You're supposed uh, to boss our ass. She's your fucking boss. <laughs> that's the wrong lady. Uh-uh. Well, that's one thing. I, I feel like they should. look at me like that, but I don't. You jump, <laughs> Toya, come say hi, please. Boo-hoo. Okay, so September oh, yeah, 3rd. Yeah, yeah, we September got, we 3rd. Got you. Don't even worry about it. We got you. September 3rd. Just re- remember that date. Yep. September 3rd. Yeah. Remember that. Mm-hmm. She'll be here September 3rd to bartend live for you guys. Um, mm-hmm. Latoya oh, is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's super, super talented. I um, picked her because well, she. She's going to throw the cocktails in the air and shit like that? Well, no, but we do mm-hmm. have a flair bartender. Her name's Samantha. So y'all might get to meet her too. (laughs) Um, All of them do different things. Like Latoya is definitely the professional one, but Latoya has a lot of experience. She worked on cruise ships. She worked. Latoya, where else did you work? The casinos. Man, we don't care. You all way over there, (laughs) y'all. Crystal, Crystal is another one. Crystal was my first bartender I hired. Crystal also owns a catering company. Okay. So she does full time catering. Um, she just quit her full time job, so good for her to do catering full time for herself. So why you ain't tell me that? And we could have had Crystal bring the food and the mind. You didn't ask me that part, but if we'll you need her for later. September third, I got okay, you. Okay, we'll talk about that. Um, and then Samantha. Samantha's our baby. Um, she's the newest bartender. She's the flair bartender. She's definitely super personable. Um, yeah, she has a lot of experience, too. She's like one of those wild college girls. <laughs> Samantha, I hope you are not watching this. Bartender's going wild. <laughs> <laughs> Bartender's going wild. No. Um, but yeah, I like Samantha. She's she's real good. That's the firecracker. Okay. So, hopefully, you guys will get to meet the whole team at some point. Yeah, okay. no. So tell, matter of fact, tell everybody where you from, cause she ain't from around. Ah, uh, she's not from around. I am not. I am from Denver, Colorado. Born okay. and raised. And y'all it was did not know it was black people. Uh, yeah, I was about to say it was the only know? black people I knew was on the. The Nuggets. <laughs> and they're not even from and there. And the Broncos. Yeah. Carmelo is not the only black person that was in Denver. Now you got, you got Nisha. Okay. Definitely. There's a whole bunch of black people there. Right, right. Um, but yeah. That's what's up. That's where I'm from. Give up for a black, black woman. Mm-hmm. From Denver. From Denver. Right, right, right. Don't forget that right, part. Right, right. So you want to hang around with us for a second? Sure, yeah. I will. Okay. I will. Okay. Okay, let's get into these current events yeah, then. Yeah, we ready to do our current events, and if you want to chime in, you can go right ahead. So, ah, Shikari, Shikari, Shikari. I feel bad for you, baby. Everybody's against you except me. And me. You're not good, no. good, good, good. I feel bad for you, man. How, how do you feel about Shikari just coming in ninth place, dog? Shit happens. I mean, I, like I can't really, I can't really tell because I don't know what she was doing in that time off. I don't know if she was training or not. Right. So like, I, I, I just feel bad because when you watch, if you watched it before she came on, they had the Nike commercial. She was yeah. tapping her fingers, and she was like, "I'm just waiting and waiting." And then it was like, for that to happen, it was such a 
a letdown. But I mean, you know, we don't know where she was at mentally. Right. A month and a half off. You don't know what she was doing in that month and a half. Um, you know, and then a lot of people are upset with her because she liked some tweets about the Jamaicans, some negative shit. They said one of the chicks looked like Lil Wayne or something like that, <laughs> and she liked it. That's not funny though. Yo, but but in her defense, in that picture, shorty did look like Lil Wayne. But yeah. the point of the matter is, it's like, you know, but it's crazy because dude that owns a resort in Jamaica actually reached out to Takari, I mean Shakari, and offered her a free stay. He said it was the Christian thing to do. But then, you know what? Well, I mean, kinda, but they kind of owe her, though, because like, they the ones that, I mean, rumored that those are the people who got her knocked off in the first place, that the Jamaicans actually snitched on her. So Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. That's why I said it was rumored. Allegedly. And if y'all really did that, yeah, y'all really do. Somebody should know, look man. out. Somebody should look know. out. If they say the Jamaicans did that. They did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that was that was a sad situation. All right, so moving on from that, I just you know had to get that off my chest about her. <sighs> my man Robert, 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 Robert. Oh, why is he always a topic? Because like, every week, <laughs> now, like right now, every week there's something going on with my man. Yo, Robert is not coming home. It's not about him. Robert home. is <laughs> nigga. We <laughs> he trying to sell his publisher, nigga. Let's scrape this money together. Nisha, sell a couple more drinks. We can buy that. Wow. Ain't nobody trying to buy it. He trying to sell it for twenty one million. I think we can what? talk. What? Yes, we can talk him down. I think to we can what? talk him down, yo. To twenty. Yeah, twenty dollars. <laughs> no, <Nah. laughs> we gotta talk uh-uh. them down, yo. We need, but you know how many songs this nigga wrote, yo. We can talk them down. I mean, I understand, no but yo, he's trying to pay his legal fees for what? He like, said he sounded like Dame Dash right now. If you ask me, yeah, he, yo, he, they say he's trying to sell his publishing. Niggas ain't trying to offer him. They not trying to take that twenty one. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of money though. Lowball him. That's a lot of money. It is, but that's a lot of music, like. Yo, it is, but you he wrote know. some shit. He wrote some shit. Just think about it. You got Michael Jackson, Tony Braxton. You got some motherfucking people there that just think it really like put some shit behind. Yeah, that's true. But do you want that on your resume though? Did you got that I own music uh, that he that wrote Robert Michael Kelly. Jackson? I don't give a fuck. Like right. that's, yo, <laughs> the song's still banging. He ain't singing. He wrote them. But still, he didn't write nothing about peeing on nobody, nobody sixteen. That's shit. because that was for somebody else, <laughs> exactly. though. Exactly. So you like, buy that shit. Like nah. I don't understand. What's up, Misha? You trying to go? You're not trying to go in. Nah. You anti. You anti Robert. Very much. Sorry. <sighs> okay. I'm. I'm just moving on from that. Misha, we trying to get this money, man. Not that way. Okay, I hear you. So yesterday I was looking at this video, and your man Common, are you you a fan of Common? I, I like Common. You like I, like Common. I do like Common. Okay, Common said that he would want to do a versus against Black Thought, Most Def, Talib Kweli, or whoever they put in front of him. What 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 you think? To me, pop, to me, <laughs> pop, per, personally, that is a acquired taste mm-hmm. of a versus. Not everybody's gonna want to watch that. One. Correct. But I mean, I yeah. But any of those, those three names that I named, do you think he can watch any of those three? You being a a rap fan, you don't think he beat my mom? I like Common, but I don't think he okay, will watch so him. Who's who's the, who's the three names? In? Black he Thought, said Black Thought, Most Deaf. Talib Kweli. He said whoever they put in front of him, but those were the three that he named up off top that he would like to go against if he had a chance. In my opinion, I think the only I think the only one he might could give a go is Talib, but I don't think he'd do nothing with Talib. I say he probably had more success than all of them, though. You say music? I mean, music. music-wise, he had more success than all of them. Yeah, it depends on how you look at Black. I mean, I mean, yeah, but I mean, he had more. Most, most deaf guy. What's he called that? What happened? He got excommunicated from the damn country. He couldn't <laughs> even come back. He just let this nigga back in. So, 
Yeah, he most had his chances mm-hmm. outside of last time you seen this nigga was brown sugar. But I mean, if you if you, if you're gonna watch a verses like that, you gotta actually listen to their music, mm-hmm. like because it's not gonna be a you're not gonna hear twenty hits between either side. So Carmen, I don't know Carmen. Carmen could get Carmen been around. That's what I said. He got he well yeah. He's been he around for a while. But can you name twenty common songs that was on charts? It don't have to be charts out because if you like it, you like it. Nigga That's what I'm album, saying. You have to listen to these people <laughs> to actually. Yeah, niggas yeah. play the album cuts on the verses. Yeah, I mean, but I, I mean, it's not even that. But I'm you gotta just, listen to. Yeah, you gotta listen I'm to that. I'm, I'm just asking, like. That's like okay when Snoop Dogg went against DMX. Like Snoop Dogg played a lot of of songs that was B side, yeah. but everybody listens to yeah. Snoop Dogg. He definitely mm-hmm. he played like maybe one or two songs I didn't know. Maybe one of two. Yeah, but see, but everybody listens to yeah. Snoop Dogg. But so, but I mean, so they're gonna have their audience. But I'm, but I'm just saying, all that aside, do you think he'd smack any of them three? Just probably Tyler. That's why I mean. That's the only one I Commercial think. success for Talib is not that high. Yeah, I would say one of them. And he's one of my favorite rappers of all time. Talib Kweli? In my top 20. Boy. Okay. You Definitely. surprise me all the time with these. I mean. Yeah. You really surprise me he's, sometimes. He's a lyrical like, animal. Yeah, you surprise me sometimes with them. What do you, <laughs> do you So you listen to the other three? Do you know anything about them? I mean. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you Y'all listen to rap and Denver? Good night. <laughs> listen, Good night. But the thing just is, I, I like. I just said, where's that button at? <laughs> I got that so much when I first went to college that now it'd be like, all right, whatever. You went to college here? I did. I went to Morgan. That's what I came okay, here for. Shout out to Morgan State. Mm-hmm. So you might know a few people. Never mind. Go ahead. I thought you were shaking your head in hate. I no, was, not at all. Okay. I'm not. I ain't got no. I don't got no. I have no negative feelings against more. Good. So, I mean, but out of those three, which one of them you think? I'm gonna go with Talib. Like that. He, yeah. That's to be the one to be with the mm-hmm. other two. Give him some problems. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I agree with that myself. So. Uh, yeah, I see he ain't throw Lupe name out there, but okay. Yeah. He, well, he said what. <laughs> He just didn't pick. He just didn't pick. We in his top three, but he said what? So, all right, your man Buster. This nigga went on a rant against the government. Yeah, he, we about won't see him much longer. Away our civil liberties with the mask mandate. He was like, basically, fuck your mask. I'm breathing freely. We won't see Buster much longer. Exactly. Like, <laughs> come on, Bust. Like, if you feel like that about the vaccination, speak your piece, bro. But that mad shit is real. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. going into these mass crowds and shit like that, like, I be nervous sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Especially Definitely like going nervous. to the mall. Shit, that's man. He crazy as hell. Tell me we outside now, breathe freely. He gonna be about two pounds in a week. <laughs> he gotta do better, y'all. He gotta do better. What else I got? Um, I don't. This you might you know you know who Kendrick Perkins is. I don't. Okay. So Kendrick Perkins was asked who he would want to fight in the celebrity boxing match. He's a basketball. He was he's a former basketball player, but now he's a commentator on ESPN. Mm-hmm. Big country motherfucker. He, he ain't gonna have that job very long though. Yeah, he's trash. But they asked him, if you wanted to be in a celebrity boxing match, who would you want to fight? And this nigga chose Draymond Green. Which thing you do with Draymond? I think he'd beat the shit out of Draymond. That's what I Because mean, <laughs> I'd be wondering, like, is Draymond all talk? Yeah, he, he, he's you know all talk. Saying? Like, he's is he talk. about that action? Nah. Cause he, you know, what I'm saying? he's a character on the on the court, man. That's all. You think so? He's just a character on the court. You know Draymond Green? Is? I did. Oh, you know that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Warriors. Yeah, I I was tripping off of that because that was what I was thinking. I was like, is is y'all really like that? Like, you know, he talked a lot of shit, but you know, do he really got that in him? You know what I mean? But yeah, I was just tripping mm-hmm. off of that shit. So there's a. 
a real current event that been going on all week about Steph Curry's mom and dad. They are filing for a divorce after 33 years. Shit happens. But they accusing each other of cheating. Shit happens. Yo, <laughs> they probably never mind. 33 years. <laughs> Do you throw that away? Both of y- if both of y'all cheated, do you throw that away? Maybe no, they're you happy talk with the out. cheating partners and they would like to go their separate ways. Yeah, you got to talk that one out, though. Like, but they accuse each other. So, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, I'm leaving you for this motherfucker. Like, but if if that, if 33 years, you wasn't going to throw that away for... You see it as a throwaway. I see it as, it's not a lot of time to be unhappy. So if you're not happy, then All right. Let me explain you've raised your children. They grown. It's not like you have to stay together for the kids. <coughs> the kids definitely don't need them. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm going to say this, right? So I was reading some stuff and <laughs> it was this one joint, this tweet, this dude just went on a tweet rant about Steph's father was like, man, you don't want to be out here. You know what I'm saying? I don't, that man in his 50s, maybe, close, might be 60. You don't want to be out here now with this brand new shit. Let's let's Google Del Curry. Listen. I was going to say, if he's cheating, he probably already been out yeah, here with I'm it. Saying, like, so. But you can divorce trying to start new. Like, this shit out here is rough. It's rough out here. Especially somebody, you've been with somebody for 33 years. And you haven't really, yeah, he cheated, but you haven't really been out here. Out here. You dig what I'm saying? Like, trying to meet new people. I'm going I'm to give you an example. There's a lady in about, I'm going to say about 17, 18 years ago. She came to me. And she was in her, she was in her 40s. Okay. And she had been married for 23 years. She had been with the same man for 23 years. Nobody else. They get a divorce. As soon as that happened, she jumped out there in the streets. Ain't consult nobody about what's going on out here. You ain't been on a date in 23 years with no new nigga. She meets a guy. He's married. But he had somebody she knew for a long time since they was kids. And she get them hooking up with him. He married though. But he sold her a dream. Yeah, I'm gonna leave my wife. At I leave her. Me and you gonna go ahead, we're gonna date a couple years and we're gonna get married. Now this is before anything happened between them. My man shoplifts the pooty from her. Next thing you know <laughs> Shoplift. Next thing you know, she telling me what happened, and this nigga don't wanna fuck with her no more. I said, miss, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why didn't you come talk to me before you did this? Like, the, the game changes every every two months out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? You have to realize that. And that was that many years ago. Shit is worse now. And this was pre-social media. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When we had this conversation, we were still on AOL dial-up when me and her had this fucking conversation. It is now... Instagram, Grinder, whatever the fuck they got out here. Grind. You, whatever. You can, <laughs> you can meet somebody in 30 seconds. You, said what? you know what I'm saying? Whatever. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. whatever. I don't know any of this shit. Tender some shit. I don't, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? It's all this shit out here. And. Ladies, if y'all looking for a man, he's on Grinder. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. You said it. You said it. I don't know it's a thing. It's a thing? Oh. It's a real thing? Yeah. I don't know. It really is? Yeah. Yeah, I was. Oh. I was watching this show yesterday. Okay. We're going to take that back? Yeah, exactly. We're. Yeah, don't look for me on that motherfucker. <laughs> Who wears yeah, short me. shorts? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta relax, though. You gotta relax. Wow. But my point is, is that there's all these sites to meet and hook up with people. And that none of that existed then. But, like, now everything is so, like, instant microwave to smash or whatever you want to do. Like, 33 years, you want to jump out there? 
to this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, because 33 years, you gonna be lonely as fuck. You know what I'm saying? You not nah, lonely. not really. Nah. Why not? I'm not really. gonna say that's still the same it's still 33 years, but it's Ooh. still Del Kai. What the fuck that got to do with anything? He can get, he, he get damn, damn near any woman he want. We not just talking about Del. The wife Her can too. too. Yeah, she can too. But it's still. But listen, you don't want to just. You don't want just any fucking body. You can get any. Del's only fifty seven. You get listen. You don't want just anybody though. But I'm but just what saying. Del is people? only. Del is only fifty seven. You're damn near close to his age. You can be oh anybody you want right now, can't you? <laughs> The difference between me and I don't got that money. <laughs> There's a difference between me and that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. ain't nobody gonna be chasing after me to be a sugar daddy. I ain't got it. <laughs> I don't. Not yet. <laughs> now, when Pablo cut the check, should cut the check, then I had something. Like, right now, I'm broke as fuck. You see where I'm at? I'm at work right now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? That's how I look at it. But I'm just saying, you have to think about that. Yeah. Well. The loneliness of 33 years, and then you try to meet new motherfuckers, and all they want to see in the new motherfucker is the old motherfucker. You dig what I mean? Like, they're going to be looking, yeah, I remember me and such and such used to. That's what it's going to go back to. That's all you know. You dig what I'm saying? That's all you know. So, you, you, that's, all you that's all you got to go off of if you really think about it. You'll be looking at that motherfucker like, yeah, she used to like to do this. I mean, y'all have seen that shit happen. Motherfucker talking about they ex to the new motherfucker because that's all they know. And then they done lost this good person. Yeah, here that's, they, that is true, though. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Like, are you willing to <laughs> to make that sacrifice? Because both of y'all had an indiscretion. Y'all was tired of each other for 33 years. You had something new. You seen what it was like. Now let's work this shit out. And I'm an advocate for it. I don't want to. I don't want your ass back if you cheat on me. But thirty three years, like, what do you do? So you would take somebody back after thirty three years. Thirty three years, yeah. You would take them back. Thirty three years, yes. I mean, come on, man. We fucking grew up together, like. Yeah, you um, you, you gotta point, talk that one out. Yeah, that's thirty three years. Thirty three weeks, fuck you. But thirty three <laughs> years, like thirty three months. But thirty three years, we gotta, you know, we gotta work that out. I mean, I get what you. Uh, no, I said what that are they divorcing about. for? I, I don't. Because they both accusing each other of cheating. Oh, that was the. <laughs> yes, okay. that's literally the reason. Like in the court documents. So you still you still stuck on you gonna break the fuck up, move on, find you somebody new in this crazy world after thirty three years. Mind you, you not you right now. This thirty three years later, some shit done fell down. You know what I mean? But you know, some old people like to be by themselves. I'm just, That's if you've been by yourself. Most older people that have been by themselves for a long time don't mind being by themselves. But if you've been with someone, you don't want that lonely shit. That's all I'm saying. You have to think about who you become in 33 years. His, his wife still look good, but some motherfuckers 33 years from now ain't going to look like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Maybe. Infidelity is hard. I, no doubt. I mean... Listen, I'm 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 the guy that says, if you catch me, break up with me. What? Yes, if you catch me, break up with me. If I do, if we, if I have an indiscretion in our relationship, and you find out, break up with me. So you don't want her to cheat back. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> So exactly. That's so, what's gonna happen. So you want to some, get save some, yourself? I gave you a get some dick free card, and there's not shit I can do about it. Technically, but leave your ass once you do it, and I then that's the pot calling the kettle black. So I might as well just go ahead about my business, just grab my. Or you could just not do it. I I'm not. I'm just saying. <laughs> like I'm just saying for an example. I can't stand. I'm just saying for an example. You will make a good lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> that's the wrong business. You know? <laughs> but I'm just saying the whole point of the man. Like, how do you feel about that? Like, if. If someone was to catch you with an indiscretion, would you want, to, would you want them to forgive you? I cannot confirm or deny not these in, not allegations. Not after 33 years. I'm talking about <laughs> it, right now. I cannot confirm or deny these allegations. There ain't no allegations. That's, that's, that's I don't know what you're talking about. It's just a fucking question. Well, I don't he's know not about, alleging. I, yeah, not I don't know about these infidelity questions. I'm a uh, saint. Oh, 
Well, I'm just telling you how I feel. Like, if you, if I was to do something, let me go. Because I ain't going to trust you. I'm not going to trust you with my life. Cause you, That's you just, some jacked cause up you, stuff to do, Because you though. really feel like she's going to get back, huh? One way or another. Yeah. That's why they got hot grits. And, hey. All that dumb ass shit. Like, no, I'm not with none of that. I'm not sleeping with one hour a bit. Or trying to track your phone and all that shit. See where you at. Because like, I don't want to be that dude. Like, what you But what if she's He's going to be on a, some neo lie to me shit. What if she's not a um, <laughs> exactly retaliation be. type of song. person? It's an honest song. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, what do you mean if she's not. Okay. Some people aren't that type of person until some shit makes them that way. Yeah, that is true. Okay. Everyone has a triggering point. This nigga cocktail got me some shit. Everyone has a triggering point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I know, believe that. You but know how chicks be like, like, I've heard women say, like, they mess around on their man. Well, oh, he ain't going to do nothing. You don't got to worry about him. That be the nigga that kill you and him. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. And that should talk. No, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna say that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right. We're not right. gonna that's, say that on that's, camera. That's what happens. It's, it's the ones that you least expect and you like, ah I'm gonna act like that. Then he the one catch you slipping. I'm leaving the barber shop. Next thing I know, I'm laying out front and shit. You know what I mean? All because you said he ain't gonna do shit. Well, maybe you <laughs> should think about your actions before you get to that point. Oh yeah, no doubt. I'm just listen. These are all hypotheticals. You gotta relax. I'm. These are all I'm there. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking. <laughs> Sounds like a life genus song. If you ask me. <laughs> so you. You just not going. You just gonna refuse to answer the question, brother. What question was that? If you, if if I, if you were in a relationship, if I was in a relationship, and you got caught cheating, excuse me, in indiscretion. Okay. Do you want her to take you back? I mean, I want her to take me back, but see, here's the not thing. Not after thirty-three years. I'm talking about like. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is the thing where people don't understand nowadays. If you take somebody back, you got to let it go. Because mm-hmm. once you take him back, that's it. Like, you already forgave him. Kind of. No, there's no kind of in it. You don't. Okay. You might not forget, but you forgave him once you take him back. So, what you mean by kind of? Go ahead. Because you may not stuff. necessarily forgive them. You may just. Not want them to go, so you. But once you say I want you back, and I forgive you for. No, once you say I forgive you. Once you you get, once you give, once you give them the opportunity to come back into your life, you should not hold it against them. You should, you should automatic. You should never. You should never. Um. Yeah, you should. You should forgive them. Like, but are you gonna forget? You'll never forget. That's something you'll never forget. Right. So when they don't, so if they not, but that's, but you shouldn't take them back then. That's my point is I don't. You shouldn't take them back then. If once you once you give somebody the the will to come back into your life, all bets like you shouldn't. You can't. You can't retaliate now. There's no retaliation in it. No, it's no place. <laughs> There's no retaliation. Email that we've had is on uh-huh. the show. So, because somebody told somebody told me that yeah, y'all only had one side and y'all be sexist. So go ahead, speak your. Opinion. We only had one of a guest. I'm, about, <laughs> I'm just saying, but as far as like, we never have a female in our discussion because the engineer over here don't never want to get involved. So go ahead, go ahead, lay him out because you look like you want to say something to him. No, his his opinion is his, but I don't think that you can say that she doesn't have. She might take you back, and her mindset might be, "Well, I'm gonna get him back, so we even." For what? No, why would you take now him back? Now even. Then? No, why would you take him back? Because I want to hurt you like you hurt me. No, well, you shouldn't. You shouldn't take me back then. Because me dumping you is not necessarily gonna hurt you. It's gonna hurt you. Me and it's dumping gonna hurt, you is gonna hurt you. It, 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 if if a man really cares about you, yes, it will. 
Well, if a man really cares about you, he wouldn't be cheating. I knew that was coming. You, why would you even? <laughs> like, like, why would you even? Yeah, dog. You, no, if you, you really care about her and her and her feelings, you, you would know it. Back, retaliation is off. Says who? It is. No, listen. Why? If we get in a fight, that's, pre- see? that's premeditated. That's why I'm out. No. That's don't premeditated. Even, don't even. Don't even. It's but premeditated listen. at that okay, point. Okay, so okay, so remember, remember when we was when we when we did the other show, and we was talking about this shit, and I and the chick was like, yeah, um, if if I say it's over, like the shit that you're saying right now, right? She was saying that shit, but like I told her, what's today? Today is August. Fucking 27th. Five years from now, she wake up on August the 27th, 2026, and she like, just the day that motherfucker Matt cheated on me. (laughs) She just gonna have a flashback. She gonna her DM, oh, yo, what's hitting me up? Let me get at that nigga. It don't have to be today or tomorrow, but five years from now, she ain't, she forgave me, but she ain't forgot. You dig what I'm saying? I get, I hear what you're saying, but you dig what I mean? Like that shit just dredges up. I know dudes that don't sleep. But okay, that but cheated let me, five years ago. Let me, <laughs> okay. Let me, ask you, ass, let, me ask, let me ask you a question though. That doesn't. First of all, does that make it right? It don't make it right. I don't even have to go through it. That's why I said don't. Take so you back. telling me if somebody wakes up five years from now after being cheated on and just decide to scroll their DM? And say, okay, this person been hitting me up. Let me holler. Let me holler. I'm back not at saying it's right, but I understand. That's worse than the. That's the worst than an initial cheating. Why? Why? What you mean? Why? Why? That's the. That's 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 that's, that's worse than initially cheating than the initial cheater. Because once you take somebody back, all bets are off. That's the now you looking for. Now you looking for revenge. Not necessarily. Yes, you are. You might if you be- scroll your DM and looking for a nigga who been trying to talk to you, that's you're looking for revenge. You're looking for something to take revenge on. That's not that. Or the opportunity just presented itself at this point in time, so you took it. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing but the truth, brother. No, I can't. I can't <laughs> roll with that. Yeah, I can't roll with that. Because Be- once you take somebody back, then that's only that's. You you're saying that you know I forgive you. That that's what you're saying. Once you take somebody back, you're telling me that you forgive them. I think yeah. you just made that up. No, why? <laughs> why? So works. why would you take him back then? Because you might think like, yeah, we might be able to work through this. I don't forgive you yet. It might. So be why a, not a take a break pro- then? Ain't no breaks. Ain't no break. What? If we go on a break, it's over. Ain't no breaks. So you mean to tell me you taking somebody back with the mind front, with the mindset that fuck this nigga? I'm still gonna be with him though, but fuck this nigga. Women do it every day. Y'all crazy. That's, That's exactly why y'all crazy now. That's not me. I'm saying. That's why y'all crazy now. Yeah. The trust yeah. Nigga presented to me. The song is a thin line between love and hate, right? And it says, don't think you can keep breaking your woman's heart. It's a thin line between me love and hate. She'll sit back and enjoy it. She will fool you one day. Dig that? She gonna fool you one day, nigga. Don't ask me today. <laughs> but one fucking day. But that doesn't make it right, though. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's right. The situation wasn't saying, right from the get-go. Like, that's like when, when, that, when we was out that day and I posted that picture of you. And you're like, why the fuck you do that? I said, you remember when you posted that picture of me on Facebook? You said, nigga, that was like a year ago. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to get you. I told you I'm going to get you. That's different. No, it's the fucking that's same. Di- no, it's not I because was that, was jo- that was all jokes. But I'm just saying. That was, was all jokes, though. But, but you forgot about it, right? I did. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a difference, though. That's not a life changer. That's not a life changer. I'm just saying. That's not a life changer. I'm just saying, I didn't it's a difference about it. in that. You gotta give me a better scenario than that. I didn't forget about you that's got, my, that. That's, my whole point is that. No, your point is stupid. Forget, yo. <laughs> it's not stupid. That's all you. That, that is. It was like yo, that was a yeah. I don't give a fuck. Like you got it. Now it's your turn. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it no, is. No, no. People do that, yo. That's why I say I just let me go. I don't. I don't want to have to look over my shoulder and think about that shit. Okay, so what happens if she does break up with you, right? You get a new girlfriend because karma has no expiration date. 
So you get a new girlfriend, then boom, she cheats on you. Okay. Then, then I got what I deserve. So either way, you're going to get it. Well, I'd rather get it from the new motherfucker. <laughs> Why? Yeah, her ass. Why? Why? Because I'm, the new motherfucker, I'm probably not dead in love with her like I was. But what if you were? Well, don't, I, I'd rather, I can accept that. Because then I can say to myself, on well, some tank shit, maybe I deserve. You deserved it if the other girl yeah, did it. Yeah, but I can say this, like maybe I deserve what she did to me. Tanks have a lot of shit. Bro. I'd say maybe I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time I say that shit, you want to go to the, you want to go to the other shit. Because like you don't I, do that B side shit. Because, shade, because we don't we don't acknowledge Tank on this show. Yo, Tank got some dope songs. Yeah, okay. The point of the matter. Who was he is, singing to? I don't got nothing to do. With that <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> the whole point of the matter is, I can board I, this new one. It's gonna hurt me, but it's just like Karma got me and bit me in the ass. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah. But, but, Karma definitely don't have an expiration date, and I learned that the hard way. But I don't want to be not from cheating though. But but I, but the, <laughs> then the thing is, that. but then the thing is, like with her, I probably ain't gonna look over my shoulder like that. You dig what I'm saying? To think that it may happen with you. I mean, with the last one, I'm gonna be looking over my shoulder at all times. I'm not. That's even not. worse. I don't want to feel yeah. that. You see what I'm saying? You see the difference? So the new girl, you're ignorance not going to look over your want, shoulder. He want to be like, he want to be like Neo. I'd rather see it coming than to be oh. desperately in love and he'd rather be like Neo. But I'm still unicorns and fairies. With, my, with the chick that I let forgive me and stay with. How do you know? That How do I know I'm still madly in love with her? Mm-hmm. Because the fuck I'm still with her. <laughs> I'm oh, madly no. in love with her when I cheated. You, you can be in love with somebody and still cheat. That mm-hmm. makes no sense when people say it. Yeah, you like, I mean, that. John Ledger said it best. You can't say, I don't love you yeah, just because just I cheated on you. He did. His first album. My number one. Go look it up. Yeah. I, I was about to say, so. Oh, now we have a voice. <laughs> what happened? What'd you say now? I said that goes both ways then. I mean, true. I, women are. Y'all snipers. Y'all yeah. get down. Mm-hmm. Y'all get down. Mm. Y'all worse than men, to be honest <laughs> yeah, with you. Yeah, y'all get down. Y'all worse than men. I mean, do y'all want to move on from this topic? Or we can keep going. I, I mean, you know, you good? You okay? Up to you. <laughs> I mean, you good? I'm just saying. So you When women mean, cheat, they cheat and make love and shit. Like, I, what? Mm, yeah. yeah. Shit. Y'all cheat with emotions. Yeah. Y'all cheat with people that cheat. Y'all cheat with people that y'all feel secure with. And then and there's it's always that dude that's all, that you've been talking to for years. That's just my friend. Knowing damn well deep down inside, you love that nigga. Who hurt you? I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. And, and then because that's not always the case. No. So when did you? When the last time you cheated was it was it out of uh? Hey, so yo. how would you know? So how would you know then? We don't need your opinion if you never been through it. Hey, yo. Like, look at me like, you're so dirty. Like, what do you mean, lad? Hey, I'm just going to That was a setup. That was a setup. I'm glad you answered that correctly. <laughs> <laughs> you never cheated on anybody, but you cheated. Oh, okay. Let's story time with Tia. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, okay. Y'all, y'all hear that? Tia's gonna be on the mic. I mean, if next you want week. it now, you can have it. No. You want to share? <laughs> share it. Wait, what's your assistant name again? Latoya. 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 When, the it. last time that you cheated, right? <laughs> was it out of emotion? Was it out of emotion? Yeah. Like, did you love that nigga? No. So you you was out here just doing just random niggas, huh? No comment. Oh, <laughs> shit. Damn. I was going to say, how, why do they have she to be random? She woke up and put her socks on and chose violence. Like, like, because mo- like most women cheat thing. with guys they know. Mo- mo- they're not going to just go out here and just randomly suck and fuck on a ra- random nigga. Again, who hurt you? But most right, women are just like, being honest. That's, so that's, that's you that's think that women don't, don't have one honest. night stands and huh? you, you don't think that women can carry themselves that way? I'm not saying, I'm not saying that y'all don't. I'm not saying 
how do you know so much about this? <laughs> when the last time you cheated, it was, <laughs> I'm like Mitch. I just rather go separate ways. I don't, yeah, because, I don't even want it. If you, if you think about, I don't want to like, take you back. Like when, like when women, honestly, like the guy that y'all cheat with, most of the time y'all have told him with the other guy how he was fucking up. So now he has the blueprint and the playbook to win. Most of the time, dudes. Don't be. Some they don't be, care. Some niggas be dumb enough to to tell their personal shit, and that's the dumbest shit in the world. Because when they when women come to the other chick as a woman, I was about to say sometimes them. or all the time. Because y'all like, oh my girlfriend's not doing this. She ain't doing that. Do that. She don't Why feed me. Do she ain't washing my clothes. You tell her. You tell that's some shit you tell the next girl after you broke up with this chick. No, but y'all. Never, be- why would you do that during the relationship? Because when she comes to her as a woman, to let her know. That she want to be with you, she was like, "Oh yeah, he told me you." Don't. You don't think Why that happens? Bitch know everything, sir. Y'all talk. I don't know shit about it because I've never <laughs> cheated. Men talk; they talk a lot. I've never cheated. So Black men know. don't cheat. Exactly. Oh, okay. I was. Yeah, yeah I've heard. That's how I'm. Uh, I'm talking about what I heard, not what I've done. <laughs> okay. So men do cheat. Yo, racist. <laughs> <laughs> he racist. He's dumb. <laughs> So, Yo, can we go to a commercial? <laughs> <laughs> I need to do some dumb shit. But, no, like, but, y- but y'all kind of give the next guy the blueprint. Like, just I think blueprint. we give it to y'all too. Y'all just don't be listening. That's what I... Oh, you're talking about the guy that you're with? Correct. Because if, if like he said, if women are emotional cheaters, they're going to tell you what the problem is before they But see, in most guys, some guys in relationships get complacent. Like you talked and all that shit, but you ain't really going nowhere. So I'm, I mean, I'm saying, oh. but I said, but you're not really going anywhere. So, so I'm saying that there's guys that feel that way. Mm-hmm. Not me myself, but guys <laughs> that way feel so like <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. So it's like you're going to accept this because I'm the end all the be all. Some men feel that way, mm-hmm. and then that's when y'all go call sport coach and shit and sport coach Steve. Yes, that's the guy. <laughs> And y'all okay. call him and be like, yeah, what you yeah. doing? And then when he take you out to lunch, mm-hmm. he's like, what's going on? Man, this nigga, he doing this. Oh, where, why would he do that to you? And then like, that's when he turned into shy. Yeah, comforter. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just slip and slid. And now you all caught up like, oh my God, he's just the best. And the main man at home, like, what you been doing all day? Oh, nothing. You got this dumb ass smile on your face. And he's... Is none the wiser that he ain't getting none tonight because you ain't doing it twice in one day. Some women do, though. Oh, wow. Just saying. You said what? That's a lie? Yeah. How yeah. would you know? <laughs> <laughs> How would you know? <laughs> oh, shit, I'm messed up. What the fuck? Okay, sure. Hang in somebody from the balcony. I see you. I'm going to move on. It's about to get real hot. It's about to get violent in here. I'm going to move on. You guys can't see what just happened. So I'm going to move on now because mm-hmm. I don't want you to party to none of that shit. Okay. I don't got nothing to do with that. Nah, fuck you, that. You still on current events? Um, no, I had to. No, nah, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I, I, had another, I had another topic. Another cheating topic, but I'm saying, yeah, yeah. talk about What's that happening? shit. So let, let, let's go to rapid fire since we got a guest. Okay. Let's go to rapid fire. Okay. So here on the show, when we have guests, we do a segment called rapid fire, where we give you this or that, and you just pick which one. Okay. Go All right. I'm going to go first. Broncos or Ravens? I have to go with the home team. Broncos. Well, I bet Sorry. you would. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Mary J or Mariah? Mary. Brandy or Monica? Monica. Minister Society or Boys in the Hood? Minister Society. You seen both? Now, can, you can curse on this show because you're about to, yeah, you you about to get cursed on. out. <laughs> Nike or Adidas? Nike. Italian or Mexican? Oh, that's hard. Is it authentic Mexican? <laughs> Not Chipotle, Qdoba, none I mean, of that? You can always go to Spain. I mean. He's 
No, I'm gonna have to go with authentic Mexican food. Light liquor or dark liquor? Light. SWV or in vogue? Oh my gosh. In vogue. You can go now. (laughs) (laughs) You can go now. (laughs) But I love SWV. I do. You should have said that. Anyway. But I like them both. Baltimore winter or Colorado winter? I'd rather do Colorado winter. It snows more, but it's cold as hell here in the wintertime. It don't be cold here? Y'all got wet cold, like stick to you cold, like frigid cold. There's dry, so it ain't as bad. Yeah, no. When I was in the mountains, it snowed in the. We don't in live July. in the mountains, sir. I'm just saying. I was in Wyoming <laughs> in the mountains, and it snowed in July. Like, I thought mm-hmm. the yacht had on shorts. There's always snow on the mountains. Hey. But we don't live in there. Okay. Last one Neo or Dream? Neo. Good. Good job. All right, so I do have a um, I do have a fanfare topic, okay. and this came from Katina Brown. Katina says that Nicki Minaj has the best female features of all time. How do y'all feel about that? Because I tell you how I feel about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell how you feel about it. It's trash. She's, that's, the, that's the best. That's the way I like her. Like, if I listen to her, features. Mm-hmm. I can't listen to her music alone. None of that shit. Like, I remember I bought Pink Friday when it first came out just to see. It gave me a fucking Blue Monday. I threw this out <laughs> the window. Like, that shit was trash. Um, her monster verse is... One verse to be reckoned with. She got some shit with Trey songs, Usher, that I like. But um, mm. I'm I'm gonna say I, I'm gonna take Kim over her all day when it yeah. comes to features. I mean, that I can love you. you got fucking you want to rumble with the B, huh? Like come on, son. That's that's how come. <clears throat> Quiet storm. That's that's yeah. never that's never gonna exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So I don't. I mean, that might be like one of the. Best female verses of all time. Right. <laughs> so, so you say you don't think she's no. What you think? No. Where would you rank her? You as far as features? Yeah, you say she's second behind Kim. Or would you put her lower than that? That's tough. I was gonna say, at what point? <clears throat> As far as like, like now or like a couple years ago, let's just say let's just say I don't know, let's, just, let's just say her whole catalog because now that, her features be trash. Uh huh. Especially that one. Um, what was that shit with uh, Foxy? Got some good features too, though. She did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like yo, mm-hmm. I think like but, see Missy. I get lost in Missy because I don't know where to really put her. She's Drake. Like yeah, <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. Like she's singing and rapping. Like you got to give me a category. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cause she do have some dope rap features, but she sing too, so that's why I kind of like, like, like her and like her and Lauren Hill. I don't really put them in the mm-hmm. rap category. I put them in the rap yeah. sing category. Like when people say Lauren Hill is a rapper, I don't even put it in my, you know, because it kind of throws me off. You know she a rapper. You know she, she was. You old enough? You know she, she was. She's yeah, both. Old, she, She's both she, though. Yeah, she she was, but that her she album R and B album. Huh? She did one RBI. That, that fucking makes you the, the that made her who she was. <laughs> that's the only album, like, like, you know. So that's why I say that. That's why like, I kind of get lost in translation with her and Missy. Like I don't really know where to put them at. Hey, Foxy got some good features though, man. She do, cause like, like like that song she got on. I mean, not her song, but the feature she got on uh, Capone and Noriega, Bang. Mm-hmm. She murders that. Like she murdered it. Yeah, she got some tough ones. And you know she got songs with Jay. Yeah, she got some yeah. tough features. Eve got some good features. Yeah, I was thinking that. So overall, I'd, so as an overall, she's five, top five. I give her that. Okay, she's top. Five. She might be five. You put her five. I put her at five. <laughs> so, so I, mean, yeah, I don't know because. 
like you say overall, like yeah, because because now her features trash, exactly. but like now Cardi B features, she Cardi, kill him. Yeah, she Cardi be killing. That's why I asked you at what point, like yeah, what? That, yeah, that's why I said overall because I'm not gonna just say when she first came because when she first came she killed everything. But she was the only one out at that time too. Who was out with her? <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. That's why I say I would go <clears throat> overall because if you look at it like that shit on that Yo Gotti, I won a race with China with the mm. I didn't. I didn't get that. Which one? What song was that? Was that uh, Rake It Up? Was that mm-hmm. Rake it up? Yeah, I thought that was horrible. Rhapsody. Feature them? Mm-hmm. She features a lot. Really? See, only when I, I'm, I don't really follow her like that. The only feature I know is that on my favorite Buster song. It's the only one I know. <laughs> she, give me, she give me everything she, I need. Nikki's top five. I give it top five. So if you, so if you say five, then... Who were the four in front of her? I said top five. I ain't say which part of the top five. So but like I would put, she I would, five. I would I put Kim <laughs> over top of her. I would put Foxy. What about the brat? What you think? Is she below her or above her? Because Brad got a lot of features too. He's contemplating. What do you think? Since you said she's five, I would put her before Nikki. You would put Brad before Nikki. Mm-hmm. So, you know, mm-hmm. I would. Wow. And I like Nikki, but I think she's commercial. I like. I think she just sells records. I would. I think I would have I like to put. I would have to put Nikki over top of the Brad. So where you put the Brad at there? Is Brad four or five? Did I even say she was top five though? I mean, you said it was out. I'm just asking. I don't know if you put name in five or what. So you said, so you said you put Brad over top of Nikki. So that put Brad at three, four, or five. Four. And then who would be third? I think Lil Kim first, then Foxy. But I love Eve, so I have to put her number three. Okay, so you say Kim, Foxy, Eve, Brad, Nikki. I also think Nikki came in to sell sex like Lil' Kim. So it's like we we got that already. Um I don't think Nikki was that much of a sexual artist though. She 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 just had the look. Right. Yeah, I don't think like as far she as like talks a lot about she talked about it here and there, but it's not as much as Kim. Yeah, like, yeah, Kim was out here. Kim talking. could you could put Kim on the fucking Nighttime CD. You can just throw a Kim verse on one of them eight, nine hundred numbers and shit. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Like they can touch and make yourself that shit. Um. So we, so we just, so you just gonna throw Cardi out in the mix? No, I love Cardi. Like, so you throwing Cardi out? I'm just saying. I don't think so. But I like Cardi because right. Though. Not right now. I like Cardi for now. I like Cardi. Do y'all think she write her own raps? I think I don't think about it because it sounds good. So I listen it to does, it. Though, but, I, I mean, mean how many always, females you know really write their own raps? But they always give females flack about not writing their own shit. Which but I, I mean, think, what's the flack though? Like, how many do you know really write their own shit though? I mean, I think I honestly think that Kim wrote some of her shit. She wrote some of, it, but not all of it. Of course, and just like, just like all of it, was around. every. Every female rapper though. But I'm just saying like, they write some like of with Cardi, her shit be so dope. Like, you know what I mean? I just be wondering, like, do she write her shit? I don't I don't wanna hate on and be that misogynist type nigga that's like, ah, I don't none of them chicks write their own music. You know what I'm saying? That's what they said. I heard, I heard off, they said offset did, but that nigga is, no. his, her shit sound better than his. It's, <laughs> if she if he's writing her shit, he needs to trade his shit in. He needed to, well, he needed so to what about this before they in. was married, though? It sounded good. Mm, mm, he nah. needed to trade his shit in. Nah, no, 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 it shit sounded shit the same since so she came out. Yeah, he needs she to got the same in flow and everything. So I was going to say, have you listened to Cardi's mixtapes? It yeah. sounds completely different. No. Yeah. 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 Well, I think he should trade his shit in. Her shit's fire. So what about... Yeah, that's what so okay. Since, since since we talking about writing, do you think Young Ma write her own shit? Uh, yes. 
I, 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 would, I think that she, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Tia on this one. I think she did. Out of all of them, she's like pretty much a grown man, so she probably like that whole shit. <laughs> Like, yeah, there's a hundred bloods outside this door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what it is, though. Y'all know what she come on, man. Just say you know, like, we, we, we outside. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry, but, you know, that's just, that's just how I feel. Like, I'm not going to take that back. I will not. But I think, I, I think she probably does. What else she got to do? What? <laughs> 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 So you still we we came without because that's tough though. I think he's undecided. Right, exactly. I said I, Kim I, number I one. Number. I said Kim number one. Foxy number two. Eve number three. I'm gonna go with Cardi. I mean, uh, Nikki number four. I gotta go with Nikki. You go with Bradley five. I never well, said the Bradley. I'm at all. just asking. Who was your fifth? Like Dang. you just keep putting that. Because you put it out there. Because I can't say Cardi because she doesn't have longevity. I can't. I can't even say Young M.A. because she ain't got longevity at all. Just say Queen that. Latifah so we can I move am, on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't heard a lot of anyway, Young M.A. Oh, MC Lightyear. Right. <laughs> I would like honestly. Um, who I was just thinking about? Uh, shit, I was just thinking about somebody else that. That be featuring like a motherfucker. Um, I want nobody new me. I just got my train of thought about when this guy <laughs> roasting him and shit. Damn. You just gave up, yo? Yeah, I'm gonna You just gonna go with four? Let me just say four. I don't want with four. Alright. So who's your five? You never said George. Oh, I, Toya said Megan the Stallion. That's what there you go. That's not longevity. She that's have what longevity. I, was thinking. I do like that's Megan what, though. I said I don't know Megan. That's who I lost. But she I, don't I, have I would give it I would give it to Meg. Why does it matter? Huh? Why does longevity matter? Because you can't I mean you're only basing it off the last what, three, four years. But she's done a she's done a lot of In three fucking or four songs, years. So mm. she's she's done a lot of songs. A lot. But that, but I was just saying overall. That's why I said overall, not just that because she has been. But Latoya has some questions. I just sorry, I just read her text. She want to know what about Remy? Oh, uh, ah, that's a good one. What about Remy? That's a good one. I would take Remy over Meg the fucking style. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's a good one right there. That's a good one right there. I mean, yeah, that's because she probably write her own shit. Yeah. yeah. And she do her own shit. Yo, too. think she write her own shit? <laughs> Nigga, she was locked up long enough to write her own shit. I'm not trying to hear that, yo. She had shit to do need. And she do her own shit too. Sean <laughs> was locked up too. You heard something he heard we saw he came home, right? Say Sean? Yep. Sean was he came home, what he sound like? But he wasn't. I mean, Sean was. Sean, for a Sean came when he home with straight across these. He was fair. <laughs> he, he was fair for a square when he like, was okay. His album wasn't. Yeah, I mean, that was, wasn't that. He had that mm-hmm. bad boy joint. That was just like the hottest song on the streets. Huh? Bunny Club was cool. Man. Yeah, but he wasn't. I wouldn't put that nigga. No, I mean, just like three hot songs. Out. Yeah, that's exactly. So that's I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even put him out there. I wouldn't mention his name. So yeah, I like. I like. I like your list. I like Remy in there. So I'm. I'm gonna go Kim, Foxy. Um, I'll take I take Remy. No, I take Eve over Remy. I take yeah, gotcha. So Foxy, Remy, and uh, who's the fifth chick? I forgot. It's Nikki. Kid. Nikki Ness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's, that's how irrelevant she is to do. Stop disrespecting my though. <laughs> no, but I mean, features she. But Latifah really ain't. 
When was the last feature she had? Was I want to be down remix, dog? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but he said it's longevity, so it matters. Nigga, that was nigga, that was nineteen. Yep, longevity. We still listen. Yeah, to Yeah, but it. the long what's the longevity yeah, between ninety ninety four to now? Goodbye, y'all. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> you was better off saying "Lady of Rage." Yeah. Baby D got bars. <laughs> so you said Toya had what was that question? I missed the question because I didn't read my text messages, so we might be going back. I don't know which question or which person she asked. Why do you cheat, Toya? Who was that for, Mac or? Oh, I don't know because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and Mac still doesn't want to answer. So black men don't cheat. Yeah, so I don't. Know. I already said that. Yeah, you didn't ask me nothing. The whole world knows that. Yeah, I won't get down like that. <laughs> oh. okay. So, this right here is uh, the last topic of the day. So, Damon Wayans was on a show, and they was asking him about verses. And he said he's never really seen the verses. So, he said, do they do them for comedians? So, he said, if they did... They asked him who would his fantasy comedian be to go against. And he said Dave Chappelle. But he said he called him out. It wasn't just a fantasy. He said he wanted to see him. Who y'all got? Because I can tell you, Damon got jokes. He did. That man been he been doing stand up since the eighties. I've seen them. Yeah, fuck you. I've seen them. <laughs> he probably wrote them too. Right. He, he said I probably wrote them. Yeah. <laughs> but he's, he used to kill Robert Townsend joints back in the day. So that man is tough. He definitely got skills. But Dave, but okay, but but Dave is the most clever. Comedian I have ever seen in my life that could take. He the only nigga I know that can really go at the elemental P and make everybody laugh without getting shut down. Yeah, and that's hard to do. That's why I don't say nothing. <laughs> Who would y'all say? You better not say nothing. I'm not. You just meet him on Grinder. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm, I'm, I told you, I'm, I'm taking Dave. I gotta take Dave. You don't, you don't believe in Damon at all. I believe in him. I just, oh, are we doing twenty? I mean, what I are we basing this off of? I don't though, think there's a count as far as. Like, but I'm saying, what are we basing this off of? He just said stand up, like. Oh, and stand up, yeah. Just a stand, Dave. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, not no. I'll give my best joke or the best mama joke is. No, I mean, I thought you meant like, you know, <laughs> you know, you put your 20, whatever 20 you got, your movies plus oh, your stand-up. Oh, no, no, no. He just said straight up stand-up. Oh, Dave. Yeah. You take Dave, too? Yeah. Yeah, Dave, Dave, Dave is just, if he was a rapper, he'd be a lyrical animal. Like, do you, do you spit hot fire, yo? Like, it ain't nobody like him. Well, it is my close, but ain't nobody really like him to me. Um, we do a top five here. Okay. Every week. So, I don't know how versed you are in comedians, black or white. I'm just why you rolling your eyes. It's just a conversation. <laughs> I mean, here we go. No, because anyway, because I, I, who would if you had to pick your top five? Comedians. Okay, so can I tell you something? I'm not a stand-up person. See what I'm saying? But I do like Chappelle's stand-up. But I will not sit and watch Eddie Murphy's stand-up and all that. I'm not doing it. I don't like it. Mm. I do not like it. It's too Just wrong. Eddie, Just Eddie Murphy? None of them. So Dave Chappelle the only... Yep. Are you that would probably be the only person I would actually go see do stand-up. Really? Mm-hmm. So you don't like Cat Williams, Kevin Hart, um... Cat Williams is funny, but I think it's funny because he's a drug addict. So that's what I be laughing at. So doing drugs is funny. Yo. 
doing drugs is funny. <laughs> Hey, yo, the fucking slander. No, do not put that yes, on there. You got to. The slander. It's <laughs> coming for your ass. Yo, when I we, know we hey, yo, do when that. We, when we break this down and put it on, be, that's... Cut that out. Cut it out. This, this, nigga, this is between us. Oh, my God. It's just his movements. Re- that's what it reminds. Like, you yes. You slick back. A drug addict. God, Dude, he just act... Never mind. <laughs> Money I Mike think that's why I, I yeah, that's why I think no, he's funny. Oh, alright. <laughs> Yo, drugs are bad. No, <laughs> drugs are bad, but y'all get crackheads in the hood to do crazy stuff to laugh at them. Y'all do. Y'all pay them to do crazy stuff. I can't confirm or deny that. Okay. Right. He be the one paying them or recording. <laughs> I don't partake in those parts. Hey, yo, he probably went and brought them crates from Walmart. He hey, did. Yeah. <laughs> he he went and bought them. Hey, 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 yo, run up this crate real quick, hey, yo. Hey, yo. I give wow. you $20, you jump off this See? crate? Hey, yo, why would you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, why would you <laughs> yes. See? I ain't never do no shit like I'm that. Glad they, I'm glad they put you out there. I ain't never do no shit like that. <laughs> so y'all laugh at crackheads too. Yeah, I don't got time for that shit. I don't got time for that shit. I just buy shit from them when they come in. That's it. No. Giving them money. Hey man, gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> so So we not gonna talk about what that crackhead did for that cheeseburger, huh? You See <laughs> <laughs> So alright, so who was your top five be? My top five comedians. Dave, Chris Rock, um, those are my top two forever. Um, number three, Richard Pryor, Jamie Foxx is number four. <coughs> no, actually, let me take, let me go back. Dave, Chris, Bernie, Richard, oh, and yeah. Jamie Foxx. That's my top five. So I take that back. I do like Bernie. I watched the Kings of Comedy, but he's the only one I laughed at. So you didn't talk about three people, so you got a top three. Yep, there we go. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> you got to put them in order, though. Uh, <laughs> well, I would have to definitely say Bernie Mac first. Number one? Yeah. Dave Chappelle, too. And I'm not putting Cat Williams up there because I will put him up there, but I do laugh at him, just not for yeah, just crackheads are funny. Just not for like listen what he says. It's more like how he acts. Great America, that's some shit I can watch over and over again and keep laughing. Mm -hmm. He wasn't high. I was gonna say, how do you know? Nah, trust me. I'm gonna go watch it. Great America. Yeah, it's okay. Who are your top five? Mm-hmm. Bernie's number one. Number two will be Dave. Number three, Martin. Stand up one? Stand up. Number four, Kevin Hart. And number five, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go out with an underrated uh, D-Ray. I do like D-Ray. D-Ray Davis. I, but I wouldn't watch him stand up. I just, as long as you ain't say yeah. Mike Epps. Mike Epps is not funny. Exactly. He's movie funny. Mm-hmm. He's not even funny. He's just dumb. Yeah, he, he movie, <laughs> he's just he's dumb. Not, I don't stand up funny. He's trash. Everybody, everybody can't do stand up. Everybody tries to step in that round, but it's not fair. And, and the thing about it, when he does stand up, he tries to bring what he did in the movies on stage. Yeah, he moved. This is his first one. He moved too slow for me. Like I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like he didn't bam, 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 bam. He was like, all right. It was like he had a book and he was reading that shit. And like, hey, but you know who will be my sixth man though? On this J. God damn. Yo took it back, back. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Arnez was funny as shit. Yo took it back, back. God damn. Oh, man. So, Nisha, tell the people where they can find Liquid Lounge. 
Um, we are on Instagram at Liquid Lounge Cocktails. Spell it all out. Okay. Um, our website is Liquid Lounge LLC dot com. Um, we do have Facebook. I'm really not good with keeping up with Facebook, so please just don't use Facebook. Oh my god. But it's Liquid Lounge Cocktails on Facebook too. Yeah, okay. these Liquid Lounge is uh very good. It's Liquid Cocktails. <laughs> what did I call this? The fuck it? It's every fucking thing? Damn, huh? Fucked up juice. Yeah, fucked up juice. That's what I call it. Yeah. With the grapes added. Yeah, fucked up juice. This is awesome. I appreciate this. Never have I ever met a client who asked me just for grapes. <laughs> I've never even had anybody ask me to give them grapes. Oh, Cleopatra had it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I be wanting. Yeah, I don't like other fruit. Wow. So, Mac, tell the people where they can find you at. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at King underscore Mac 919. You can find me on the podcast page, Are You Serious underscore podcast on Instagram and TikTok, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, we do have TikTok now. Um, you will see Mitch out there doing tap dancing. So, no, yeah. <laughs> so, where can the people? Send your request in. Oh, you can send me a friend request <laughs> on Instagram at back the number four the last time underscore in between everything. You gonna have to write that down because I'm already lost. <laughs> you gonna write it down on a piece of well, paper. Well, the thing is, our lovely editors put it on the screen for you oh, so we can see it. Oh, we hot right now. Don't do that. We get it. We got editors that do that shit. We got engineers for bad hey, motherfuckers. Matter of fact, shout out to our engineer team. <laughs> Come on out here. Come on out here. Come on out here. <laughs> last, the last episode, she can look. Can y'all please stop doing that? Nope. No. Wow. There you go. See, there she go right there. <laughs> that is the engineer. And she does brown skin conversation shit. Season season two is coming up. What September first. September first, yes. right? Yeah, so September check 1st. her out. Check her podcast out. She's on Anchor, Apple Music, Spotify, and she might be in front of your local liquor store singing and shit. So So yeah, so since you know since we bringing everybody out, come on out, Latoya. I know, you Toya, come on. Come on, you gotta come out. All right, that's fine. Next, don't worry about it. Next week, you're going to get plenty oh of camera time. Don't even worry about it. But, well, yeah, you can. I'm on the podcast page as well. Are you serious? Underscore podcast. We have the Facebook page. Um, Are you serious? Podcast as well. Um, you can check us on Tuesday. IG Live. The Three Headed Monster with Uncle Poochie. If that motherfucker don't have a shirt on this week, this is going to be his last time. Y'all ain't worried about it. <laughs> you know, with the shit. I'm not even worried about the shirt no more. I'm more worried about the feet swimming. Oh, yeah. This like, that, yeah that, that's yeah. what I'm more worried about. Yeah, Wait, dog. what is it? He was laying on his stomach, stomach with, with his, his feet, feet in the air. air. You know. Yeah, it was the bullshit. Oh. He laid on his side and talked to Mac, said something to him. I don't know. No, Mac yeah, got up no. there. <laughs> I said, why are you talking to us laying on your side? He was like, talking to Mac. He wasn't talking No, to he was talking. <laughs> actually, he was talking to you. He was not talking to me. You can go look at that IG, <laughs> G, IGTV on his page. Yeah, but and you'll see who he was talking to. Right. You have to send a friend request to see that shit. Well, why don't you just un- <laughs> never mind. I've been trying to tell him that. Like, yo. I will not. Who are you running from? I'm not running from. Yo, what did I tell you, yo? Who are you running from? Yo, what did I tell you? I'm not hiding the world. You a dark skinned Drake, that's all you are. I'm hiding my page. You just a dark skinned Drake. (laughs) Soft face. (laughs) I'm not paying you no mind. But we appreciate y'all joining us. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. Yes, sir. And before we go, we have to bring out the guy who made all this happen. Yeah, you know, yeah, come on. Should morning. Should motherfucking morning. Should and he got his drink on. He got Ain't his nothing in there anymore. Am I on camera still? I don't know. I'm still on camera? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh camera head ass. Go there. Yeah. <laughs> you want this one? Oh, sure. So yeah, yeah, make it easy for you. I don't want no smoke. Need my job. Yeah. Um, first and foremost, 
Good show. Always, always. Uh, like that, for real. You need to get the whiskey junk and stop putting grapes and shit. You grown ass man with some grapes. But nah, <laughs> Sarkarigan sold everything, man. Sarkarigan's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Google. We everywhere, man. Get the merch. Most definitely. Yeah. When you say when you say you need to relax, you should have threw the, the mug merch in there. But that's all right though. Y'all still learning. Sarkarigan's.com. Yep. I'm trying to tell you, we revamped the website. Go there, check everything out, man. We we here, man. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't definitely ain't going nowhere unless Max say so, because you know he the bully. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, that's our plugger right there. Liquid Lounge cocktails. Go ahead, do you <laughs> do yourself a favor. Yep, get Seriously, do yourself a favor. I'm about to drink the rest of this and I'm going to sleep. I right, I'm out. <laughs> Look, y'all, we appreciate y'all. Oh my God. Oh. He's a drunk ass. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate y'all joining us. Thank you for coming Thank you for out. Coming Thanks out, for Nisha. having me. Partnership Liquid Lounge Cocktails. And once again, remember this. We are a podcast that's a show. And a show that's a motherfucking podcast. And we out this year. Mm-hmm.